everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandra if you're new here and if so welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be an update to my rolling project 10 pen as you can see from the title. I started this uh, project in the beginning of January and then I have uh, done an update like at the end of every month uh, this year. And uh, yeah, so basically I started with 10 products and then I have uh, used up some things and something I have hit my goal on and some things I've just taken out of the project and then put in new uh, products. So I always have uh, 10 items in this project. And from the beginning I did not know like how long I would continue this project for, but I think I sort of wanted to make it a year-long project and now I'm not so sure anymore. I was sort of considering like ending this project now but yeah I won't. So uh, I might like end the project when all the 10 items I started with is used up or I don't know I'm, I might like end it in like uh, the end of June when it's been a six month long project or because then I thought I would end it in June and then I have another like product uh, that starts in June and then I am also participating in another product that will end in August so then I thought maybe I could do like a four month product 10 pan for like September, October, November, December but I'm not sure yet. This might go like the entire year and it might end in the end of June so I'm not really sure but uh, sorry that was a really Swedish accent <laughs> at the end of that sentence but yeah sorry well I'm just going to jump into the uh, products so the first product on my list here it's been in the product since the beginning is this um, a Maybelline Fit Me powder in 110 uh, yeah this is what it looks like I will have like a picture up of uh, what it looked like last time uh, I think I actually made quite a uh, like dip. If, I don't know if you can tell, but the product is very thin here. But as you might be able to see as well, I have like hard pan here on the top part, which I take. I do take the hard pan off like quite often, like with the tape, and also I've tried to scrape it off. But I just it just develops hard pan here like all the time. So I might just use like this part up, I'm not sure, I don't really like, I started this project feeling like so-so about this product and now I'm, I don't know, I don't really like it so I wouldn't ever repurchase this uh, once I finish it and I'm not sure I want to like completely scrape it out and finish it out so yeah. This is what it looks like this month, this month. And then the second thing that's also been here from the beginning is this uh, concealer from uh, MAC. It's the Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. And as you can see I have sort of like used it here so it's hard to tell like how much I've used up. Maybe you can see. Yeah but I think I have actually made quite a bit of progress on this. As I said like last month I, last month I started using like an eyebrow pen like for my eyebrows and uh, I have to use this to like carve out my brows at the tail because I like them more sharp than I can get them with a pen. So I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like last month but yeah this is what it looks like now. And uh, I'm almost like I'm almost hitting like side pan or hitting the side like on this side right here. Yeah, if you if I'm editing this and I see that you can't tell, I will try and take a picture and like insert what it looks like now compared to what it looked like last month. Okay, and the next thing I'm actually going to declutter or take out of this product because yeah, uh, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. This has also been here since January and I have used it quite a bit because I can see like progress when you like swipe the like the wand against the sides. You can like see that there is no uh, product. But when you smell it, like the smell has changed or the scent has changed. And it sort of leaks everywhere because I cannot bring it with me because 
I don't know, product gets out from like here. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to declutter this. I don't, I feel, I haven't used it for like two weeks or so because, I don't know, I'm sort of grossed out that it started to like smell differently. So I'm going to declutter this actually. Okay, so my camera cut me off because my battery died and then uh, I had other things to do. So I've actually been away for a few hours, but uh, now I'm here again, <laughs> trying to film again. So the next product is the uh, NARS Audacious Lipstick in uh, Anita, which looks like this. You've seen it a couple of times before. And I think I've actually made some progress. I have marked it... Uh, Let's see if I can show you. I have marked it here in my notebook, as I think you can see. Uh, so this is where I started, and this was like, I don't know, when I felt like uh, uh, marking. And then I haven't done a new mark, but that is what that looks like. So as you might be able to tell, I'm a bit lower than the line so I'm going to do a new line uh, after I'm done filming this video so yeah I've been using it and I think you can also see like uh, when I started uh, this product I had like um, a lot of product over the end in NARS but now I'm almost yeah I'm almost down to to the end so yeah I'm happy about that and uh, I said in my last video that I might like take this lipstick out uh, in this update but I think I will keep it in one more. So next update I think I will uh, pull this out of the project. Okay so the next product I've been working on is this blush from e.l.f. in twinkle pink I think. <laughs> I don't know which shade it is because it doesn't say. But yeah this is what it looks like this time. Uh, I don't know if you will be able to tell but uh, I can actually see quite a bit of progress because in this corner here you can kind of see like the lines in the in the blush and I think like last time you could clearly see elf written in in like the blush but this time it's much harder to to tell like where it there had been writing <laughs> sorry uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm wearing it on my cheeks today Because uh, yeah, I've been uh, I've been enjoying this quite a bit actually and I hope I will like hit pan soon because I feel like I have a dip going But yeah, we will see it's hard to hit pan on a blush uh, But yeah, I enjoy this and I have like if you've seen my previous video or two videos before this one I have um, a makeup basket uh, and in that one I have this blush and then I have another blush so that I could like alternate between those two but I've been actually been using this every single day so I haven't used that the other blush at all because uh, I think it's like a natural flushed shade uh, so I like it and I will continue using it and hoping I will hit pan soon um, and then we have this uh, pen right here which is I've been like, I don't know, I, I, at first I put it in this product and then uh, I said I didn't like it and I wanted to find a way to use it and then I sort of, I cannot use it as an eyeliner and I cannot use it as an eyeshadow base because it sort of skips on itself and it's impossible to blend out so you have like streaks and I don't know, it's, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I can use it in my waterline so I did that like a few times in the beginning of the month uh, but I'm sort of feeling like I want to um, put this back in my collection because as you can tell maybe this time uh, if you can see the line is like right here so I have made a lot of progress I will insert a, a picture of where I made all this progress uh, like the look I did because <laughs> I used it sort of all over my face but yeah so I have made some progress and, and that looked like I mean 
I, I might be able to like insert a picture where it was sort of close up of the eyeliner because I couldn't even blend it like on my face so I would never be able to blend it on my like eyeball. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take this out now because I feel sort of better that it's a lot shorter than when I started and that I have used pro like some of the product. And now I will just put it back into my collection and uh, use it when I feel like having a purple waterline. Okay, and the next product is this Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist, uh, which looks like this. And uh, this is where I started. You might be able to tell. Like, my lines are horrible because I use a mascara to do them. But I started up here and then uh, last update I was here and now I am down here, as you can see. And um, I have been using this sort of like a room spray, sort of. Uh, but then I watched uh, Heather Styles Life. She did a video, I think it was her 17 in 2017, where she wanted to use up a... Um, perfume and she like sprayed it on her brush like her hairbrush uh, and then like yeah so her hair smelled like the perfume and uh, this is a very like flory flor flor flory flory <laughs> Flo how do you say it I don't florally yeah, I don't know. Well, it's a, a fresh scent, so I actually quite enjoy like spraying it on a brush and then, yeah, putting it in my hair. So that's how I've been like using it now. So it might move a bit slower than when I just sprayed like all over my room. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, happy with uh, my progress so far. Um, and then we are moving into products that I uh, put in the product like the last update. And the first one is this uh, Isadora Twist Up Metallic Eye Pen. If you can remember, I had like a pen where I accidentally sharpened it, even though it's a twist up pen. So I couldn't use it because it sort of stabbed my eye. So I depotted it into this uh, old uh, paint pot container. Uh, and this is what it looks like. I will have a picture of what it looked like last time and hopefully you can see that I have sort of used it. And uh, I use this as a base on my inner corner when I want it to be like sparkly and I have actually used it like Yeah, almost every single time I'm doing my makeup not today like not the last week because I sort of forgot it <laughs> but yeah, I Maybe I can swatch it. I just like put my brush in it and then just wiggle No <laughs> The piece fell out <laughs> No, okay, well it fell on my floor and I'm not gonna pick that up. So this is how much I have left now. <laughs> and I will, will be working on this, yeah, until it's gone. Uh, and then uh, like the biggest fail of this video, except for dropping the pen on my floor, uh, is this uh, Maybelline Baby Lips in uh, Pink Punch, I think, I believe. Yeah, well, this is what it looks like and uh, I won't even, I haven't used it, I used it today, uh, like, I didn't have it on before, but after I went to, yeah, after my battery died, like, I have it on now, so, uh, and that's the only time I've used it, so I have no progress to show, uh, but hopefully I will be using it more, I don't know, later on. Maybe now that I pull out the like uh, lip gloss, I will use it more because I felt like those were kind of similar, sort of. Okay, so the last product I put in last time was this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in uh, uh, Beaches and Cream, and now it looks like this. I have made quite a dent in it. I think I don't think you will be able to tell, but like the sides have been sort of worked away a bit like it's more before it was more like a just pan like straight down but now it's more like a I don't know a dip like all around <laughs> maybe and I will insert a picture of what it looked like last time but yeah I'm using this almost every single day and I would like to use it up this year so I'm working quite hard on it and I really like it but I have like a peach smoothie you know the, um, the other like very popular transition shade from uh, Makeup Geek 
and I ordered them at the same time and then when I got them they are very very similar but I like this one better but I would like to use this up so I can like use peach smoothie up and then I can uh, repurchase this one so yeah this is where I am okay so that was all the products in this product uh, like so far uh, or the progress I made on them and uh, as you know I pull out the butter glass and then I'm also pulling out the H&M uh, eye pencil because I feel I'm going to just toss this because it smells bad and uh, the eye pencil because I'm happy with the amount of progress I made on it. So I'm going to uh, add two pro So I'm going to add two products uh, into the product and since this has been very like uh, makeup oriented um, I'm going to add two like one hair care and one body care product and hopefully like the hair care product will I don't know move out sort of fast so yeah this is the hair care product it's the uh, Renew and Argan Oil of Morocco Weightless Healing Dry Oil from Organics I think the brand is called OGX um, yeah so it's a uh, like leaving it says the exotic uh, precious formula of Argan Oil of Morocco spray instantly infuses hair with a sheer veil of shine giving color and highlights a uh, multi festive glow <laughs> while it mends split ends and tame flyaway frizzies so yeah yeah you're supposed to uh, spray this in like damp hair but i've been uh, i've actually been spraying in spraying it in both damp and uh, dry hair lately uh, just to give like some shine um so yeah i have marked it i'm right here uh, and i think i will be able to finish this uh, like until the next time and I don't like it so I would not repurchase I can say that right now <laughs> okay and the other product or the next product is this I haven't marked this yet but I will it's the body shop uh, moringa body sorbet which looks like this I love the scent of this mm, it's the best uh, body shop scent in my opinion except for the like spiced apple scent they had out for Christmas this year and also I think it was called caramelized apple like last year but it's basically the same like that's I oh, I don't know either this one or that one one is definitely my definitely my favorite scent <laughs> from the body shop but I really like it but I hate the I don't like the consistency of like these body surveys they are I know they are sort of they are really like a sorbet. They came, they come out like matte, sort of. Yeah, they are basically like a sor sorbet, but they feel sort of. They almost feel like grainy, like uh, when you put it on. So yeah, I'm not a little huge fan of the sorbet for formula, but I love the scent. So I would like to. It's a body lotion. I don't know if I said that. A body survey is sort of a body lotion, or it's not a body lotion, but it's a body moisturizer, like a body lotion. So yeah, I'm hoping to uh, be able to use that, maybe not in like one month, but maybe two months or so. Okay, that was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to see how I do with this project the coming month and also uh, like uh, upcoming uh, products and collabs and stuff so yeah i will see you in my next one bye